What's up everyone? Back at it again with another video for you guys. This time we're going to be doing a base review for Mongrain on the iOS server. We're going to be taking a look at his base, seeing what he can improve. And we'll go ahead and just jump from here. And to start off with, we'll go ahead and look at the first hero that he has in his lineup, which will be his Pangoli. It is level 200, so it is maxed out on that front. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. And as you can see, it does have the towers be reflecting for a battle royale setup, so we can't really fault him on that front. Let's go ahead and check on his aids, see what he has in there. Kind of low level aids, level 120 and level 130. Uh, he did set it up for the survivability, but he does only have a level 3 aid on his Pangoli, which is quite low, especially since he has a level 200 hero with aids only level level 3. But let's go ahead and check on what his HP and attack is. His HP is set for 143,000, and his attack is about 19,500. He does have a plus 3 gold axe that does boost his attack a little bit as well. And I can somewhat understand that since his Pangoli is mainly for Battle Royale, he doesn't really have a need per se to go ahead and enlighten him. So probably why he doesn't have a Tyrant's Brand on him as well. Let's go ahead and look at what his enchants are. His enchants are level 47. So he's vested a little bit into it. Most of it in, into the first and second tiers of the attacks. I have a little bit into the HP. And a little bit into the damage as well. And so other than the low level 8 and the low level 8 skill. I would say that would be pretty good. One thing I would suggest would be leveling up the Pangoli skill for his aid. Leveling that up to max so it can actually stay alive longer. Especially since you are going for a survivability build. But let's go ahead and check out the next hero on the list. And that will go ahead and be Rene Vet. It looks to be very highly enlightened. Level 20. Has a level 20 insight as well. Not too far off from a level 5 divine. It looks like you are having her be set up for a survivability build as well. With 3 5 of 5 nimble moves for dodge rate. Let's go ahead and check out her aids. She does have... Kind of a mix of aids there. She does have a pretty decent level enchantress, level 171, and it does have a level 9 aid skill for all of them except the Pangolia again. So lacking on the Pangoli skill again. And I think you just got that Berserker since it is level 82. So I will go ahead and cut you some slack, but it is only level 82. I would definitely recommend at least getting that to level 120 because level 82 is not going to do much as you can see only 29%. That's just barely higher than the level 128 for your third A slot which halves the result. So I would definitely recommend getting the Berserker's actual hero level up as well. Right now we're just going to jump over to her enchants here. We have a little bit of her enchants set into attack. The rest of it set into dodge rate. Let's go ahead and see what the HP and attack are. HP is 285,000 and the attack is 26,000 so it is looking pretty good on its own for the HP values. Since you do have three dodge talents on her I would recommend putting a heart on her which will go ahead and help her with the dodge aspect especially since you expect into dodge rate and chance as well. I will go ahead and keep her alive. Let's go ahead and jump into the next hero in the list which will be a wolf. Also set up for a survivability build, 3 5 of 5 nimble move, and a level 25 skill. So in human mode, it'd be quite difficult to kill, especially since it's leveled up to level 185. But let's go ahead and check on his aids. And whoa, looks like you have a level 200 aid for the wonton. His HP is 519,000, and his attack is 16,500. His HP is quite a bit up there. It could be just a slightly bit higher from the other aid as well, as that one is only being a level 130. But other than that, you do have him set with a wonton, berserker, and enchantress aids. So you are trying to keep him alive as much as possible as well. And since you are going for a wonton, and with the nimble moves as well, that in combination with your gold heart helps him stay alive. There's not really much more I could actually suggest of changing on him. Other than increasing the level of the Enchantress aid. Since you do have a level 200 aid for the Wonton. Kind of makes it look a little bit bad. For the low level aids of the 120, 130. Go ahead and level up your Enchantress aid's actual hero level. 
and you should be perfect on that front. You don't really need a attack aid for the wolf. And wolf in his wolf mode on defense is really easy to kill, so that's not really that important at all. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at Ambrosia here. And she is highly enlightened as well. Level 20 with a level 20 insight. Level 4 divine. Do have her respect out for staying alive. Which it seems like your entire team is spec'd out for survivability rather than damage output. And you do have a level 30 skill on her as well. So she will be dealing quite a bit of damage with her skill. But let's go ahead and check on her aids. For her aids she has pretty decent aids. She has a Berserker, a Blockhead, and a Pangoli. Blockhead obviously to bring her to a monster. Her aids do look good so far. The only thing that is struggling is the Pangoli again for his aid skill. And with this Pangoli it looks to be your secondary Pangoli. That's why it is a little bit higher level. But that also does need to have the Pangoli aids level increase as well. I'd assume with the heroes you have, you do have quite a bit of rings. So you should be able to go ahead and invest into the Pangoli aids. That's mainly the thing that's holding your team back. Let's go ahead and see what enchants you're specced into. You're specced into attack. And then attack again for the first and second tier, which is good. You have hit rate, which is good. A higher level is kind of needed. We have crit rate and crit damage, which are bonus attributes. They're not necessarily too needed. They just provide a little bit of extra damage output. We don't have anything... Invest it into the philanthropy. Doesn't have any increased health points. But at the high divine level, so that's not really needed that much. But I do see you also are expecting a little bit of HP. Let's see what kind of HP at attack you're at. You're at 544,000 HP. And around 41,000 attack. So she is looking good so far. Especially with the high enlightenment levels. Around 550k HP. And around 41,000 attack. It's pretty good. Especially with a Tyrant's Brand, as you can see there, plus 3 gold Tyrant's Brand. Looking back on here, I see you had a bow on your Rene Ven. I would actually go ahead and switch out your bow to the Ambrosia. That'll go ahead and help her keep the enemies at bay longer. Especially since on your Ambrosia you have a Blockhead as well. I would recommend putting a Thorned Bow on her. That'll go ahead and help her deal with the teams as well. Especially enemy abyss demons that will go ahead and almost be able to fully neutralize them. And for the talents, I do see you have three 5 of 5 charm curtains. I'd assume that you put that in there before the tyrant's brand came into effect. Since the tyrant's brand came into effect, that's not useless because it does have an impact. But I would definitely recommend if you have the jewels or you have, if you have the talent refreshment beads, going ahead and specking into either blessed weapons. For increased damage, for blessing down winds, for increased attack rate to make her shoot even faster. Just stick to what you have for now. If you do want to make it better than what it is, and if you have the jewels or the talent refreshment beads that are required, go ahead and re-roll and then get all three of them into blessed weapons or all three of them into blessing down winds. And that'll go ahead and help her out even more. But now we're on the final hero. We're on Great Sage. He does have a mix of the talents. He does have two blessed weapons and one charm curtain. Only a level 20 skill, so he hasn't really invested much more into just maxing out his skill. Let's go ahead and check out his aids. He does have a Toxic Shaman, a Chiron, and an Arctic Lord. Toxic Shaman, the main selling point here. Every time he dies, go ahead and drop out another bubble, which really, really helps with controlling the enemy team. Arctic Lord does also help with Great Sage's Fortitude, procking every time Great Sage dies and then revives, making it harder to kill, and then when they do kill it, Toxic Shaman's effect procs, and punishes him for killing him. But then you have Chiron, which not only is it going to take a long time for you to kill him, but when you are attacking him, goes ahead and reflects that damage, which is good. So your aids do look good for him. But let's go ahead and take a look at his enchants here. It seems like you're trying to do what you did with the talents, but a little bit of mix of attack power and survivability as well. And since you do have a Tyrant's Brand on the Great Sage, it's definitely important that you expect into that increased hit rate, which is good. It's good that you didn't waste anything into increased attack rate or ire, because that's not really that important. If you do get 
Divine 4 or Divine 5 for the Great Sage. I would probably recommend putting a little bit into Ire. Buffing the Divine 4 or Divine 5 a little bit. Right, let's go ahead and take a look at his HP and attack. He does have 314,000, around 315,000 HP. And he has about 26,600 attack. So he's looking pretty solid there. And for equipment wise, it's good that you do have a Tyrant's Brand on your Great Sage. And I can understand why you have a Demonic Axe on your Pangoli as well. Go ahead and prevent him from being knocked back mainly. Another good point is you do have a Dragon Heart on your Wolf. Go ahead and keep him alive a little bit longer. But personally, I would go ahead and take off the Thorn Bow from the Rene Ven and put it on your Ambrosia. And for the Rene Ven, I would recommend giving her a heart. But probably the best weapon you could go ahead and put on is another Thorn Bow as well. So if you do have two Thorn Bows, definitely put your main one on Ambrosia and then put your secondary one on Rene Ven. And you do see you have leveled up your Sniper Towers quite a bit. Which also helps with Pangoli's Fortitude, which is always nice. And I do see you have your walls built up quite a bit. I recommend pausing the progression of your walls, as really they're not that important, unless you have your base nearly max. And the only thing I can see that's near max right now are your snipers and victory statues. And I do see you are upgrading your reapers. But I will go ahead and recommend just using whatever spare gold you have and put that into your walls. But for your main gold, go ahead and just use all of your main gold onto the buildings. And don't focus on your walls, just use whatever spare gold you have. And that will go ahead and help you out just a little bit more. But other than that, I would just go ahead and recommend changing those aids, like I mentioned before. Increasing the hero level of Pangoli's aids, as well as Rene Ven's aids, especially that low level Berserker yeah, again. aid. We'll go ahead and recommend buffing up the hero level of the... Wolf and Fiend aids as well. But the aids on your Ambrosia and Great Sage are looking pretty good on that front. So you don't really have to worry about anything there. So basically in short what I would recommend is changing the equipment for Rene Van and Ambrosia. Changing the way you manage resources with your gold. And then definitely upgrading the hero level of the aids and the skill level of your aid Pangoli. But that'll be about it. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a comment down below, letting me know that you like this. Also, I did want to go ahead and point out in my description section, if you do want to go ahead and reach me, I do have my line ID listed. If you do ever want to get in touch with me, if you wanted me to do a base review or anything that you wanted to ask, I can go ahead and help you out there. All the Android players and iOS players are welcome. We're all here to help each other out. But other than that, I wanted to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a good one, guys.